I'm gonna go ahead and replace our rear brake shoes and our brake drum. It's located in the rear of the vehicle behind the rear wheels. Using our 19 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and remove our lug nuts. Let's go ahead and remove the wheel and set that aside. I'm gonna go ahead and remove our brake drum. It seems to be stuck on there, so we're gonna go ahead and use our dead blow hammer. Give this a few whacks and see if we can do that to try and loosen this. Once you get that free, go ahead and work that off and set it aside. Now, once we have our brake drum off, we're going to go ahead and spray this down. I want to go ahead and start to disassemble our brake assembly. I'll give you a little tip. It's always good if you have your phone or camera with you, go ahead and take a picture of these different positions of where the springs and everything are located. It's going to be critical when you go to reinstall all of these parts. And trust me, there's many of them here. Another option is to do one side at a time. We're working on the driver's side rear drum brake area keep the passenger side assembled that way there. If you don't remember where things went, you always have another reference point. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a small pry bar and I'm going to screw in our adjuster wheel to collapse our adjuster. I'm gonna simply thread this in. And what this is doing is I'm bringing our brake shoes in Now that we have our adjuster wheel collapsed all the way, there is a cable that comes up for our adjuster. It comes up and around the back side here and comes up to the top. Now there's an eyelet here with the cable that is behind these two upper springs. Let's go ahead and remove these two springs. You wanna be wearing safety glasses when doing a job like this here. Now we're gonna remove our forward spring that is on top. Remove this here. Now we're going to move the rearward spring. And use a pair of pliers. Pop our cable off. Here's our adjuster down below. Just connect that. At this point here, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect our springs and our retainer caps here. I'm gonna do so by just grabbing a pair of pliers. We're gonna press in and twist. And there are pins that go through. I need to unlock those pins. doing is we're pushing in and rotating. Now we have the pin disconnected. You have the spring and the retainer. And then push that pin out and it comes up through the back of the backing plate. There's one of the pins. I'm going to repeat for the other side. Let's go ahead and separate our shoes up at the top here and running right across our axle hub right here, our axle face. We have this beam here with a spring on it. The spring faces forward. 
basically positioned right between the two brake shoes here. This is the cable guide that is positioned up on the back side over here. Also, you release this here. You can see there's a spring on the bottom portion. Let's go ahead and disconnect that. We're going to remove our adjuster wheel from the shoe. Ours is stuck on there pretty good, so we're probably just going to give it a good pull like that. And then we'll remove our spring. At this point here, we want to go ahead and clean up our backing plate. We're going to use our wire brush. And what we're looking for is our contact points from where our brake shoes make contact. There's three on each side, top, middle, bottom, and then it's gonna have same on the other. So I wanna make sure that this is pretty much clean. Any rusty nuggets are cleaned off. Just making it easy to work with. I'm gonna apply a little bit of grease to these contact points here. Just a thin coat. We don't want globs of grease because we don't want this to get onto our brake shoes. Now what we went ahead and did was we applied some grease on the inside here. We pulled this apart and we put some anti-seize compound on the threads, compressed it back in, and we gave it a quick wipe down to make it easy to work with. Now position of brake shoes themselves, facing the forward of the vehicle, we have the short brake pad and it's thinner. Then we have the rear brake pad it's a thicker pad and it has the pin down below i'm going to go ahead and assemble this like it was when we popped it off the vehicle so we're going to go ahead and install our gear here install our spring pop this together here i'm going to go ahead and install that right here i'm going to bring this up i'm going to line this up And take our e-brake bracket right here and the top of this fits into the notch in the top here. Go ahead and stretch this open. Now on the top of our brake shoes here, there's a post right here that needs to fit into the wheel cylinder. And it's gonna be on both sides. So when you line that up, make sure both sides are in position there. Now let's go ahead and install our pin and pad retainer or shoe retainer. Push that pin through. Now we did go ahead and clean up our pins. Get any of the rusty flakes off of that. Line this up like so. And basically you just have to compress the spring and twist that into place. So 
So when you install this here, you wanna make sure that the pin blade or a spade end is twisted and locked. So it's gonna be pretty much turned either way, as long as it's locked in a position. I wanna get and install our bracket with our spring. And this goes just underneath the wheel cylinder. And you can see the notches here on either side. So when this is installed, it's gonna be positioned like this and onto each brake shoe. I'm gonna go ahead and install the spring side first, line that up, push this on. And once that's positioned there, go ahead and spread this pad open. And this is going to fit around our e-brake bracket on the back side. And you just kind of have to work this a little bit to get that on there. But once it goes in, it'll snap right into place. Now that we have that bracket in place and it's over the e-brake bracket and the shoe itself, install our pin, get our spring lined up here, get this lined up and pushed on. I'm gonna install our adjuster tab here with our spring. The spring goes over the lower post here. And this is gonna pop on like that. The spring will actually get twisted. It's pulled out on the front side, like so, and fits on like that. And install our cable guide. Run that on through. Next thing we want to do is want to install our spring here. That's going to hold our cable guide in place. So put that on there. We use our notch spring tool here. Let's go ahead and install our forward spring. Go ahead and I want to bring our cable down here. Once we get our spring hooked on our adjuster here, I'm going to go ahead and use our pry tool and just set that into place. You want to use our pry tool and just kind of check the operation here, make sure that's good. Our cable is installed all the way around, all of our springs are on, our retainer springs are in place. Now we're gonna go ahead and spray down our brake drum with some solvent. We're gonna clean up any debris that's in here, any oils that are on here. And 
And once this is clean, go ahead and install it. And at this point here, I want to go ahead and just double check our shoes, make sure that they're somewhat even all the way around. Now we're going to take our brake drum, I'm going to line this up. I'm going to slide this into place. Now what we're doing is we're going to grab the drum and we're going to wiggle it back and forth where the brake shoes are on either side. And what we're doing is we're checking for a adjustment and we have a lot of play on there and the drum itself goes on nice and easy. What we're going to do is we're going to adjust the adjuster wheel down here. This will cause the brake shoes to expand outward and give it a tighter fit on the inside of our drum. So now we're going to go ahead and adjust our adjuster wheel. This is going to cause our brake shoes to come outward. And we're going to do this in small increments. I want to go ahead and try fitting our drum again. Wiggle it back and forth. I'm going to do this a few times. Right about there. It's actually a little too tight. I'm going to go ahead and adjust this back out. So you're just basically going to reverse the wheel. Now that we have our brakes adjusted just right, we're going to pull that drum off. We're going to apply a little bit of anti-seize compound around the face here. And then we'll reinstall our drum. Go ahead and install our wheel. And get our lug nut started. Let's torque our lug nuts down to 100 foot pounds. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.